Welcome back to the FCS Recap Weekly Podcast Episode 2. It's to talk about Week 2 and all the games that were played. There were 54 games because there's um, a lot of teams. No, that's not right. 64 games? 64, so it's 128 teams. Anyways, you guys get the idea. There are lots of games that happened this week between all of the teams. So let's get into it. A lot of games this week were pretty close. Uh, there were at least many games th- that were one score or fewer. And so it started with Long Island defeating Southern Louisiana 23-21. to We're not going by conferences this week because my producer said that took too much time last week to go by conferences because people were confused. And then we talked about games a lot. And I can only go for 10 minutes on this show. They said going longer than that was um, not the average time. The average attention span is 30 seconds or less. So... Um, I might turn this into um, a TikTok channel in a few days and just do like 20 second shows about each week and I'll just say the names real fast. So I'm not supposed to take a lot of time on the intro. So today's sponsor is Miss Number Two Pencil on my desk. We might not be number one. So let's get into it. Um, Kennesaw State defeated Moorhead State. These two teams were ranked. One of them was ranked higher than the other and Kennesaw State won 24 to 8, 28 to 14. And then North Dakota State defeated Delaware 34-31 in overtime. Both of these teams were also ranked. Georgetown won their game against Southeast Missouri 35-28. Idaho State defeated Elon 31-27. When we went over to ETSU, they beat number 14 Butler 21-10. And then Lafayette defeated Townsend 24-16. Both Butler and Towson were ranked, and the people that defeated them were not ranked. So you could say that the coaches of those teams were unhappy. 17 Brown, I think that's a hex code, defeats James Madison 31-7. to Tarleton State, our famous purple team, defeats Presbyterian 27-20. to Number 9 Penn defeated Villanova 42-28. to Number 25 Western Illinois defeats Bryant, who is just losing like they always do, 20-13. Dixie State, which is not a real state, if you look at a map of the United States, Dixie is not a state. They defeated Alabama and M thirty one to thirty eight thirty eight to thirty one in overtime. Arkansas Pine Pine Bluff defeated Prairie View A and M thirty seven to twenty four. If you've noticed, a lot of these games one score or closer in the difference of their of the deficits of the teams that lost. Northern Colorado defeats Richmond forty one to thirty five. VMI defeats South Dakota 17 to 14. Quite a barn burner there. Number 8 Bethune Cookman defeats North Carolina AT ampersand AMP colon T 35 to 32 in their game. Delaware State scored at least 10 points in their win over Central Arkansas. 20 is the number of Jacksonville and then 37 was the number of their points. Duquesne did not get a number and they had 31 points. Sacred Heart defeated Yale 35-32. to Once again, only a field goal separating these two. Davidson defeated Robert Morris 35-7. to <clears throat> It looks like there were at least 10 field goals separating these two. Number 7 defeated a number, not a number. Montana State defeated Morgan State in a game that looked pretty familiar to a lot of people watching around the league. Um, if you go over to the Dick, number one, Mississippi Valley State defeated Idaho 24-7 to in a good game as the Sun Devils continue their dominance of the top seed in the Dick and in the uh, conference of, of fake football. Bucknell defeated Maine 49-24. to Stephen F. Austin defeats North Dakota 42-38. to Chattanooga defeated Harvard 52 to 42. I want to take a minute to talk about this game. Fordham defeats Grambling State 23 to 7. Number 23 Texas Southern defeated Wagner 28 to 14 as Texas Southern looks to be a pretty hot contender in the Southland this year. Number 10 Wofford defeated Mercer 28 to 21. McNee State, sorry folks, defeats Norfolk State 13 to 12 in an interesting scoreline. Perhaps that was Scorigami. It only says Poggers in the chat. Missouri State defeats UC Davis 57 to 45. Jackson State defeated Jacksonville State, not to be confused with Jackson State. Those two 
schools can sound similar when you're listening on a podcast, but remember that the first one was Jackson State, and number 18, Jacksonville State, was the second one. 38-14 to 14 was the score in favor of Jackson State Public Library. Youngstown State defeated Columbia 41-38 to 38 as a new coach took over there. I think he's an old coach that some of us know. Northern Iowa defeated number 2, Montana, 38-17 in a battle between people who pretend that they are friends. Number 13, Indiana State defeated Samford, 28-14. Drake defeats Austin P. 42-20. Charleston Southern defeated Campbell, 31-10. You can't spell Campbell without two L's. Florida A&M defeated Hampton, 37-30, in an interesting game as Hampton looks to have fallen from their former glory. Dartmouth defeated Gardner-Webb, uh, 41 to 31 by 10 points there. Northern Arizona defeated Central Connecticut 21 to 13. As Central Connecticut continues to be one of those teams that you wish was better. Dartmouth defeats uh, Gardner Webb 41 to 24. Um it is interesting that Dartmouth is listed as defeating Gardner Webb twice on the official scoreboard uh with two different scores. Citadel is a school from Carolina, and they defeated Eastern Kentucky. In fact, multiple CFC teams won this week, uh, more than two. They beat Eastern Kentucky 38-35. to South Carolina State defeated Lamar 48-34. to I believe SC State got a new coach. Western Carolina defeated Southern Utah 31-17. to That is also a Carolina school. I'm not sure if you could figure that out. Eastern Illinois defeats Northern Alabama. So uh, it looks like East is better than North there, 23-14. to 14. Even though Eastern Illinois is north of Northern Alabama, the Alabama school still received the North distinction. Sacramento State defeated William & Mary, 23-14. to 14. No score Gami in either of those games, as both of them uh, were the same score, so they would cancel each other out. Colgate defeated Tennessee State, 13-7. to 7. That game was just blisteringly fascinating. Almost as fascinating as Sam Houston State defeating Illinois State 7-3. What a game that must have been. Stony Brook defeated Holy Cross 6-0 in a just shutout performance. UT Martin defeated Southern. I don't know what type of Southern these people are. They're just Southern. So probably the most type of Southern that you can possibly get, 23-7. Alabama State defeated Furman 18-14. That is a case of an of a a Carolina Conference team not winning, so mark that down in your scorebooks. Abilene Christian defeated Howard 14-10. to Cal Poly defeated Monmouth 64-14. to That means that there were 50 points difference between the two schools if you subtract 14 from 64. Um, this podcast is turning into math hour. I apologize for that, but maybe you will learn something. Tennessee Tech defeats Weber State 49-28. Dayton defeats St. Francis 31 to 20. Eastern Washington defeats Alcorn State 30 to 17, and then Nickel State from the Southland defeats a Big Sky team in San Diego 37 to 27. A lot of these games were pretty close. Lots of game of the week contenders. It didn't sound like that from the scores, but that Bethune Cookman game was pretty tight, 35 to 32, and then Dixie State and Alabama A&M went in overtime. And also, if you remember, um, North Dakota State and Delaware were in overtime as the Blue Hens fell there. Uh, Lots of one-score games, as mentioned before. Uh, As always, any and all scores that you need to find can be on 1212.1, or if you like to say it, 1212.1, provided by Jocks, one of the best users in the league. And uh, this podcast, as always, brought to you by the number two pencil on my desk and by 1212.1. Or one two one two dot one. It really there's a lot of schools of thought on that as to whether or not you want to say one two one two or twelve twelve. Um, if you are reading your numbers left to right, it would be one two one two. But if you're reading them left to right in pairs of two, it'd be twelve twelve. Or if you read them in pairs of one and then pairs of three, it would be one two one two or one two hundred and twelve. There's lots of ways to read this. You could read it one hundred and twenty one and then two dot one. Um, you're always going to have the dot one on there. It's kind of like a decimal point. It's the URL placeholder on the internet. It's where you can find that website if you're looking for it. Always type 1212.1. So have a great week, everybody. This has been the FCS Recap Podcast, week two of episodes, the second one. Bye.